Welcome back, home fries. Please grab yourself a cup of coffee, head into the craft room with me, and let's get started on today's DIY project. Oh, hit the subscribe button and like us on Facebook at Legacy's Little Luxuries Arts and Crafts YouTube. This DIY project will be listed under Bosch's Coffee and Crafts playlist. Let's get started. Very important step. Please wash and remove the sticker residue on the bottom of everything. Go ahead and wash everything. Okay, get the dust off from the store, from the house. Wash the glass. That is very important for things to adhere later on. Um, outside spraying glitter blast. This is all optional. This is only 8.30 at night, but I'm outdoors. I'm not spray coating inside, and then it's going to dry overnight, and then I can work the project tomorrow. Remember, place tape in the areas where you're going to glue the plate because paint and, and the glue in the plate, they won't mix and they won't stay together. We'll peel that tape tomorrow then we'll have a bare area to glue. Now we have red and we have glitter blast silver. Here we are the next day, folks. And I just take a Sharpie and outline the cracks, okay? Just to bring them out a little bit. They dried up really nice. There's a little bit of glitter to them. And they're red, reddish glittery bombs. I can use either color wine glasses. So that's what I'm going to do next is go around and just outline all these cracks and bring them out a little bit more. Alrighty, home fries. Well, this is 
adhering to the three skulls with some added weight. It's going to take about a couple hours, okay? Um, the Dollar Tree Fix All glue is very sticky and it does smell, so beware of this if you're using it around children or animals. Now I'm adding some candy to the inside of the glass. Now you can add any type of Halloween candy you want. I picked up these eyeballs. I thought they were really neat. We go along with the Halloween thing. They're only a dollar. And it looks like I can get about that many inside. Okay, so I still have half a bag left. Now I did pre cut this piece of cardstock and what I'm going to do is glue it to the top of that and then that will end up bonding to the tin pie plate okay because this is going to be opened so we need to create a void and that's how we can do it you can use cardboard cardstock as long as it's something that is circular and you won't be able to see it once the tin is on top of it, okay? So I'm going to glue this now because this looks pretty cool. And wait for that to adhere. By the way, I have my birds in my craft room. So, of course, they're thinking I am talking to them. Would you like to see my birds? It's Miss Daisy and Oscar and I have them in here because with the kitty cats they love to try and approach my birdies and lately they have not been listening to leave them alone so I brought my birdies in my craft room and that way I can close the door especially when I go to bed at night I can keep them in a room that's closed off from the kitty cats so Anyhow, let's wait for all this to adhere and dry, and we'll assemble. This is Sunday, September 13th, 2020. best idea now is just leave it alone and let all the glue adhere to the pieces. Add weight on the top to place the pressure in between each piece and allow the air bubbles to subside. So I'll just leave this be. Come back later. See how it all holds together. Here is the final Halloween project for 2020. DIY idea with Basha. Simple, easy, cheap, seasonal. And the eyeballs really add a whimsical look. Dollar Tree does sell little plastic spiders. You could place spiders around your centerpiece or on your cupcakes that you place on the serving tray. Up at the top, you can place your Reese's peanut butter cups, all your packaged candy for the goblins and the ghosts this Halloween 2020. Hit the subscribe button. See you on Facebook. And a reminder, Instagram, legacies underscore little underscore luxuries underscore arts. See ya again real soon. Bless.